Hey guys, Moran Pobert here and today I'm going to tell you why you must build a projection for every business you're looking to buy. So let's get to it. And yeah, remember, if you didn't subscribe yet, subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think about those videos or just let me know right now in the comments below what you want me to talk about. I want you to talk to, to comment right now and I promise I'll make a video just for you. So comment below right now, like the video, share it and join the, join the free mastermind I just created on Facebook. Um, literally just a business buying mastermind. We literally just started it. There are a few members there. It's pretty cool. It's, a, it's really an opportunity for you to, to engage with me literally one-on-one -on -one there. I'm there all day uh, and, and it's fun. I like to see you guys getting involved. It's, it makes me much more motivated to do more of those videos. When I get in, I'm getting responses of people telling me, hey, I'm learning so much. You're connecting the dots for me and it's really, really cool to see that. Um, keep them going, guys. I love seeing those, those messages from you. So yeah, let's, let's get to today's video. And what I wanna talk about is you building financial projections for deals you wanna get involved with. Obviously, there's a process like we said in the other videos. You go out there, you build yourself a streamline of deal flow, you have prospects coming in of potential businesses you can buy. You start to talk to business owners, build rapport, you sign NDAs, get in financials. This is the time you move forward, right? Now, as soon as you get the financials, that's the time to really understand what's going on, what's going to happen as soon as you buy the business. It's really, really important and I'm going to dive into those things. Now, as for financial projections or just anything financial related, ideally you have an accountant doing it for you. Um, maybe you have an accountant on contingent, contingency fees. Um, maybe you don't. Maybe you, you can learn it on your own. I think in general, it's really important to learn at least basic accounting on your own um, if you want to get into the space of businesses. Um, if you want to have me and my team and our CFO do those things for you and you want to partner with us on deals, there's a way for us to do it as well. See the description below and get in touch. But in general, I think um, overall, it's really, really important to know basic accounting. Um, if you're a business owner or if you want to get into the space of buying businesses, if you don't know the basic term terminologies and just basic understanding of what it, what's a PL, what's a balance sheet, what's the difference between assets and liabilities and cash flow and profit, it, it's really, really important for you to understand those basics. Not for you to dive into numbers. You don't need to do financial projections yourself and, and, and all those things and doing um, too much of numbers, uh, I guess, playing every day if, you, if you're the person looking to buy those businesses, but you do need to first of all have someone on your team who can do that or ideally have, have the basic understanding um, for you to be able to at least speak in the language uh, when you talk to your CFO because if your CFO is going to tell you hey look this this business got EBITDA of uh, whatever number and net profit of X and gross margins of Y you need to understand at least the basics otherwise you, you, you're you just not in the game it's like you going out there playing uh, soccer or football wherever you're from and you don't know what is a, what's an offside or you don't know what's a penalty right so you got to know those at least those basic terms otherwise you just you're just not in the game and yeah, if, if you want, um, I, I might even tell me if it's going to help you maybe create a, a video on like basic terms and things you need to understand and know. Um, let me know if it's going to help you. Let me know in the comment below and I, I might create a video about that. So the biggest thing with financial projections is understanding what's going to happen when you own the business. And obviously, when you buy a business, ideally a profitable business, you want to make sure that that profitability is going to continue after you own the business, right? You don't want to buy a business and then uh, need to shut it down after a few months because you run out of cash flow. So that's one of the main key things with financial projections is you understanding month by month if you're going to have enough cash flow to run the business, if you have enough working capital to sustain the business and just trade the business. Otherwise, if you raised not enough capital and you just literally just raised the last dollar to buy the business, but you don't have any money to run it, it's just not worth it. You didn't, you didn't do anything here and you're, gonna, you're not going to make any money. You just wasted your time, right? So whenever you move closer to a deal, you've got to do those projections to understand month by month, can you sustain the business without injecting more of your own capital in order to sustain the business? Now, obviously projections, it's like you're not a magician, right? So over time, it's not something you do once and forget about it. Projections are something you constantly change, ideally, based on the things you learn about the business. Because over time, you're going to learn, I guess, new things about the business. And based on that, you'll need to change your numbers and your projections. 
and again, you can't predict anything, but you need to understand based on your projection, like key understanding about what's affecting what in business. So for example, if sales gonna grow, what's the effect on cash flow? And if the opposite happens, what's gonna affect what? And based on that, realize if this is a business worth owning. And if you're gonna own it, can it sustain and can it grow? Um, even if it's, so ideally to begin with, I would do projections without even the assumption of growing the business. So I would figure out, hey, if the business stays the same, ideally it's not declining, maybe it's not growing, can I still own the business and continue to run it profitably? I would start by doing that and only have maybe another projection of what will happen if we grow or if we do this in advertising or this in marketing. So you see what I mean? So always have the default version of understanding, hey, if I'm gonna buy the business and we're not gonna grow, can the business sustain itself? I mean, remember, you, you want to understand if this business is stable. You work so hard to buy that business. You remember, you, we built all that deal flow, all those prospects. We talked to so many business owners. We're now maybe making offers and, and we're moving forward on a deal. You don't want to get to a point where you buy that business and have to shut it down after a few months. It's just going to be tragic. So yeah, do that with your deals. If the numbers looks good, uh, this is the time to make offers. This is the time to, to move forward on a deal and hopefully buy those businesses. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much it for today. It's a short video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this content, subscribe, comment below, uh, join the free mastermind in the description. Get in touch if you wanna get involved with me in deals, if you wanna be involved actively or passively, I'm happy to hear from you. And just send me any type of feedback you can. I love getting messages from you. Let me know what kind of, what styles of videos you prefer. You prefer them longer and more detailed or maybe shorter and just right to the point into just like one specific topic. I'm here for you guys. Let me know what you prefer, what you like, and uh, I'll see you soon.